Well, let's talk about Monsanto, which is a provider of agricultural products for farmers, including seeds and herbicides. Yeah, so the seeds, of course, are those fancy ones that you plant that have got their own uh, coating, which then grow in a particular way and are resistant to borer, this, that, and the other. So all those corn products in the U.S., it's a very, very strong player, and then all of the glyphosate, which is the chemical name for the Roundup. Thanks for the clarification. Mm. <laughs> Market cap, 44.7 billion US dollars a PE here, 42.3 and a dividend yield of 2.1%. Now, let's look at the other end of the spectrum. If Monsanto is the company being bought, how should you approach this from an investment perspective? Like Paul said, this is now a case of the hunter being the hunted. And mm. so, so in, in some cases, if you are a holder of the share, basically you might want to keep on because it's a good deal. Obviously, the share price might have the pull through effect. If you look at the return on, uh, on equity average over the last five years, also very good, about 24. Although the PE is looking a little bit um, uh, expensive uh, on that. So I guess possibly that's why also Bear might be wanting to um, do the acquisition of that. Let's have a look at the share chart because what happens here is that somewhere there in the middle of 2016 you can see it jumps from about 80 to about 100 and something. So this is a transaction which has already been recommended by the board of Monsanto. So you can buy them at 102. The buyout price is 128, 128 dollars. So if you're so patient, you're still going to grain. You, you could still uh, make some money. Yes. Take but the deal could also this. fall through. So that's the gap. So that's what happens in deals. It's exactly what happened with AB InBev and SAB Miller. People said, well, look, it looks like a no-brainer. It's definitely going to get approved, but then maybe it won't, but then maybe it will. If it does get approved, you're going to make 25% Which is on not a bad current level. It's not a bad return at all. But the risk all. is that the European Union wets its pants and says, no, you can't do the deal, mm. and then the U.S. authorities start getting iffy. Look, look, you have always uh, stood by the fact that you should not buy a stock because yeah. of potential corporate action. Yep. So normally once a deal is in the bag, then you've got to take the money and run is the normal way of approaching these things. But this is a little larger of a gap than we normally see. Normally at a 128, you'd expect it to be trading yep. at like 115 or something. Yes, What's yes. going on? So the market doesn't believe that they're going to get $128. <laughs> this is a long time. They think that the transaction would only be effective and sealed and done delivered at the end of 2017 because of these Joseph, delays. caution we're hearing here from Paul. It's a very difficult call, actually, yeah, looking at that. But if you were to buy it at 102 and um, the offer is 128, already mm -hmm. there's a sweetener uh, in it. But as I said to you, if you look at the PE, looking a little bit um, uh, rich there uh, or, or expensive. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's very difficult to call. That's All right, so let's just say, how about this? If the yeah. deal does not go through. Yeah. Which well, one would still you a tremendous decide company to buy into? Because it's got all these tremendous products, drought resistant alfalfa and you know, soybeans and corn, cotton, sugar beets, canola. They make the whole suite for the farmer. Plus then they sell you the product where you can plant the rows very close together because you can just put the roundup on it and then everything dies except your brilliant crop. Spoken like a rose <laughs> expert. This is something we didn't know about Paul. <laughs> He's got lots of So I go back to my question. If we don't see the deal, we don't see the two coming together, mm. would, you would, choose, would you choose, would you, would you go, go exactly, it would go down, but would mm. you, you have How already you said it's expensive, it? you wouldn't yeah. buy Monsanto, yeah. you would go with Bayer, you still yeah. hot, were, were hot on yeah. Bayer. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I think so. I think that's the right move. So if you like the space, then buy a buyer and you can own those. And then when the deal's done, you're good. I think the trouble with Monsanto is if the deal falls through, it probably goes back to 80 because there are issues in terms of that value. Yeah, I just can't get myself to say buyer. I've got to say bear. <laughs> you're <laughs> probably right. Buyer's right. Which so is the right? Well, I don't know. Tomato, tomato. I think it's we might like go German. along What's this. the right German way of saying it? <laughs> anyway, <Anyway, laughs> let's, let's call Monsanto hot or not? Not hot. Not hot. Paul, hot or not? I think that's right. I think not hot. Don't go by those now. Just wait and see.